Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Do you only know that lithography machines are a bottleneck? Actually, there's something even more deadly strangling China's chip industry. It's called photoresist. Without it, all lithography machines become scrap metal overnight. Japan holds a firm grip on 93% of the global high-end market. Even more terrifying, this material has a shelf life of at least six months, making stockpiling impossible. If Japan cuts off supply, China's top chip factories won't survive more than 30 days. This isn't strangling, it's literally pulling out their oxygen tubes. Photoresist is the blood of the chip manufacturing process. A lithography machine is like a precision engraving knife, but photoresist is the critical medium that carries the pattern and transfers it to the silicon wafer. Without photoresist, even the most advanced machine can't carve a single circuit onto the wafer. Japanese companies control a commanding share of the global photoresist market. Several companies, including Shinetsu Chemical and Tokyo Oka, have formed a monopoly. South Korean and Taiwanese chip giants also rely on Japanese supplies. The photoresist shortage crisis is imminent. Due to its unique chemical composition, photoresist has an extremely short shelf life, typically expiring after 6 to 12 months. This means chip factories cannot stockpile large quantities of photoresist in advance, as they can with chips or equipment, to mitigate potential supply disruptions. If Japan halts supply, China's chip production lines will quickly grind to a halt. Photoresist accounts for as much as 35% of chip manufacturing costs, and more than half of production line operations are related to the photolithography process. A material shortage could completely halt an entire production line within 30 days. Some Chinese companies have made substantial progress in the photoresist field. Jingrui Electric Materials KIF Photoresist has entered 12-inch wafer fabs and achieved mass production, demonstrating that its stability and precision have reached internationally recognized levels. Nanjing University of Science and Technology has achieved breakthroughs in functional resin synthesis technology, which has long plagued the industry. The company's three RF photoresists have been validated by customers, and a process parameter library covering 90 to 28 nanometers processes has been established, laying the foundation for domestic substitution. Huamao Technology has over 40 photoresist products certified by the industry. These products not only supply the domestic market, but have also entered the international supply chain, gradually challenging the monopoly of Japanese companies. Dinglong Company Limited adopts a R&D in Wuhan, production in Xiandao model. Its semiconductor industrial park has entered the large-scale mass production stage, accelerating the localization of photoresists through industry chain collaboration. A dry film photoresist company in Zhuhai has officially commenced production. The company's products can be used for circuit fabrication below 15 microns, equivalent to one-fifth the diameter of a human hair meeting the needs of high-end chip manufacturing. Rongda Photosensitive has expanded from the PCB photoresist field into the semiconductor photoresist market. The company achieved 35% revenue growth last year, demonstrating the vitality and rapid expansion of the domestic photoresist market. Photoresist R&D involves complex chemical formulas and process adjustments. Each new formula has a long verification cycle and requires coordinated adjustments with multiple factors, including the lithography machine, mask, and silicon wafer. 
any parameter fluctuation will affect the yield rate. Customer certification is the biggest challenge facing domestic photoresists. Chip manufacturers have extremely high requirements for material stability, and switching suppliers requires extensive testing. Any issues could potentially scrap an entire batch of wafers, leading manufacturers to be cautious about switching to domestic materials. Independent supply of raw materials is another key issue. Photoresists have long relied on imports for high-purity resins, photosensitizers, solvents, and other raw materials. Achieving full supply chain independence, from raw materials to finished products, is a hallmark of domestic photoresists' true independence. Electronic-grade chemicals require extremely high purity levels. For example, electronic-grade arsene must reach 99.99999% purity. Domestic companies have now achieved this standard and have reached global leadership in materials such as MO sources. There are numerous types of photoresists, each requiring a different solution for each process. From G-Line and I-Line to KRF, RF, and finally EUV photoresists, the technical barriers for each product category rise, requiring gradual breakthroughs in domestic substitution. The Chinese photoresist industry is currently transitioning from availability to ease of use. Although some products have been verified, achieving large-scale, stable replacement requires continuous technological iteration and production line optimization. Equipment compatibility is also a major challenge in domestic production. Photoresists must be perfectly compatible with lithography machines from ASML and Nikon, and any compatibility issues could affect exposure quality and imaging accuracy. The industry is developing a collaborative innovation model. Fabs, photoresist manufacturers, and university research institutes are strengthening cooperation to jointly establish testing platforms and standard systems to accelerate the verification of domestic materials. Talent reserves are key to long-term competitiveness. Photoresist R&D requires multidisciplinary talent with knowledge in chemistry, physics, and engineering. Domestic universities and companies are increasing their efforts to cultivate and recruit these professionals. Market pressure is being transformed into a driving force for innovation. As external restrictions persist, domestic chip manufacturers are providing more trial opportunities and feedback on domestic photoresists, accelerating product improvements and upgrades.